Hallo, hallo, hallo. My video of yesterday is Kirchhoff Lupu for the birds has caused some waves in the community. Countless people sent me comments, even emails, and saying that Kirchhoff Lupu always works and that my my video of yesterday totally wrong. Alright, I thought I'd add a few minutes of uh, comments, a few, few minutes of your time, because I want to go over the arguments that they used to prove that Kiersov's loophole always works. We have here a circuit, copper wire, copper wire, near zero resistance. But there is a 9 ohm resistor here and there is a 1 ohm resistor there. There is a B field coming out of the blackboard and that B field is changing in time. Lenz law opposes that change and Lenz law will drive a current through this circuit which generates a B field inside the blackboard. So the current must be in this direction and the EMF generated by Faraday's law, induced EMF at this moment in time that I have chosen happens to be one volt. It's a given. It may change in a millisecond, but it's now one volt. And the current is in this direction. So this induced EMF is generating in this resistor an E field in this direction and in this resistor an E-field in this direction. No E-field here, because this wire is near zero. Resistance, think of it as zero, and this wire is also near zero. Now, according to Faraday's law, the closed loop integral going around of E dot L is one. That's given, right? That's the EMF. So that's non-negotiable. That's Faraday's law. So let's go around the circle. The first thing we do, we pass through this resistor. The current is 0.1 amperes. And so, going from here to here, the integral E dot L is 0.9 volts. Nothing here. And then when we go from here to here, that is 0.1 volts. And so, the closed loop integral of this is exactly as specified by Faraday. And this resistor takes 0.9 volts and this resistor takes 0.1 volts. So this is one. No one will argue with that. Now comes the conviction. The proof. Unmistakable proof that Kirchhoff loop rule always works. Because look now how they're going to rewrite this equation. Keep in mind, this is the closed loop integral E dot TL, and this is also the closed loop of E dot TL. And so now they put the 1 inside and they say 0.1 plus 0.1 minus 1 is 0. That is certainly true, because this is the closed loop integral of E dot TL, and this is also the closed loop of integral E dot TL. So when you Subtract these two, you obviously get zero. But that has nothing to do with Kirchhoff loophole. So for those people who think that this is a fabulous proof that Kirchhoff loophole works, I think I can even show it in a more dramatic way. Not only that Kirchhoff loophole always works in math, in physics, but it also always works in math. Here comes my proof that Kush Kirchhoff's loophole always works. Look at this closely. 5 plus 3 is 8. So 5 plus 3 minus 8 is 0. That's Kirchhoff. Ha ha ha. Those guys were right. Kirchhoff's loophole always works. 5 plus 3 minus 8 is 0. <laughs> 